Hi guys, well we're at uh, Comitex 2016 over in Taipei and uh, we're over at the MSI booth and actually MSI have sponsored us this year so thanks very much for that. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at some of these X99 boards here today. Uh, Tom is with us and uh, he's going to be talking us through some of the features and some of the new models that you can expect. So in the middle here we have our original X-Power game in Titanium Motherboard which has done very well for us and at Combitech 2016 won the Best Choice Award. So from the success of the X-Power we launched two new Titanium models. Over here we have our X99 uh, X-Power game in Titanium Motherboard. And just below here, we have a new addition to the Z170 chipset, just below the original X-Power called our Z170A M-Power Game in Titanium. Now, obviously, the, the, the most kind of jaw-dropping kind of aspect of the boards is the look and the feel of design. So not only do we have a more titanium, silver-esque PCB, we now carry that over to the I.O. and the audio section and into the chipset. But it's not just about the looks and feel, it's also about the... Uh, the storage options available. So we also have M.2 over here and down here, and we also have U.2 as well as Sarge Express. Um, on the rear I.O., we do have Wi-Fi on the X99, not on the M Power, but we do have the latest technology, so USB 3.1 Gen 2, both Type-A and Type-C on the rear I.O. Uh, okay, so uh, you've got on the rear I.O., is there anything that you've got which kind of um, steps into um, something which is perhaps new, um, perhaps front panel or anything like that? I would probably say that on the front panel we now have introduced a USB 3.1 Gen 1 uh, Type-C. So as you can see over here, if it's mainly for SSDs, for two and a half inch SSDs for the caddy in the case, but also the up and coming cases that may have Type-C on the front. So instead of having to get any converters to, uh, to, like, to USB 2 or USB 3 header, now you can just connect straight to the USB Type-C port now. So we're just thinking about the head for the future. I mean, Type-C is the future <laughs> eventually. But, uh, no, we're there, we're, we're gonna be the number one, hopefully. And um, when we're talking prices, uh, can you specify any of the prices in USD and also for UK price? I can't specify USD, but for just for the UK only. So our M Power is going to be a lot cheaper than the X Power. So this X Power originally retailed for about 230, 240 uh, GBP, but the M Power is going to sit set above just before the gaming M7. So we're talking about maybe 180 to 190 pounds. Which, considering the spec on offer, the gorgeous looks and design, I think that's actually an absolute bargain. Uh, the X-Power is, those who remember our original X-Power AC, the black and, black and, white, uh, black and yellow edition, sorry. It's going to set around the same price point, so we're looking at uh, £340, £350 in the UK. Okay. Excellent, thanks very much Tom. No, no problem. And we'll have some more videos coming up very soon.